Today we're gonna to make a modern tiki drink, the Tia Mia. For this drink, you're gonna need a jarrito or a double old fashioned glass, a jigger, a fancy straw, a cocktail shaker, a citrus juicer, a fine mesh strainer, a cutting board and a small knife, a Lewis bag and an ice mallet, and optionally, a vaguely Dia de los Muertos cocktail pick. This drink uses Jamaican rum, smoky mezcal, orgeat, curacao, freshly squeezed lime juice, and a lime wheel, an orchid, and mint for garnish. This is a modern drink, one that would be at home on almost any menu. It's basically just a mezcal Mai Tai. But an agave-based Mai Tai, with its lime and orange liqueur, starts to shift into the realm of the margarita. This drink straddles that line between the two, and somehow comfortably melds the worlds of the Mai Tai and the margarita into a single amazing drink. The Tia Mia was created by Ivy Mix, a Brooklyn-based bartender who's the co-founder of Speed Rack and the co-owner of Leyenda. Ivy, like most cocktail nerds, is head over heels in love with mezcal. In the late aughts, she developed the habit of floating a little mezcal on top of a Mai Tai, as a way of adding a little flair into a classic. And sometime around 2010, she decided to fully commit to agave by ditching the Martinique rum and replacing it with mezcal. She swapped funky for smoky. Then she simplified the sweetener by boosting the orgeat and doing away with the rich simple syrup. It was the first drink Ivy got on one of Julie Reiner's menus. In 2010, Reiner, a Hawaiian native and founder of the New York bars The Begu Club and The Clover Club, opened her Polynesian themed bar, Lani Kai. The Tia Mia earned a spot on the menu. However, like fellow New York tiki bars Hurricane Club and Painkiller, Lani Kai was short-lived, shuttering its doors in 2012. But when Ivy and Reiner teamed up to open Leyenda in Brooklyn, the Tia Mia found a permanent home on the menu. The name of the drink is a fun little anagram of Mai Tai. And Tia Mia, of course, means my aunt in Spanish. It was also a tip of the cap to one of Ivy's regular customers, whom she affectionately refers to as Tia. Ivy likes to serve the drink in a double old fashioned glass, but I like to take a different approach. The drink is a Mexican twist on a Mai Tai, which is made a household name by Trader Vic, who not only introduced tiki mugs into tiki culture, but was also not shy about using agave spirits as the base for some of his tiki drinks, most notably the El Diablo. With all that in mind, I like to bridge the divide between the Mexican and tiki themes by serving it in a ceramic mug known as a jarrito, or a little jar. Like other tiki mugs, it helps give the drink a little character. When Ivy makes a tia mia, she uses Appleton rum, Del Maguey Vita Mezcal, Pierre Ferran Curacao, and Orjat Works Orjat. She's not gonna tell you how to live your life, but she highly recommends this combination of ingredients. I made it with Hamilton Jamaican rum. It's what I usually have in stock, and it's kind of my go-to Jamaican rum. It's got a beautiful high ester hogo that gives it a big fruity flavor profile. But as always, feel free to make the drink with your favorite Jamaican rum. In terms of the mezcal, you definitely want to use something with some smoke to it. There are plenty of smokeless mezcals out there, but you want to save those for other drinks. For the Orjat, the 12 bottle bar homemade version is always a good way to go. But if you don't have it or can't make it for whatever reason, store-bought versions like Lorjat or Orjat Works are good options. Lorjat is technically a liqueur, but it's just a long-lasting shelf-stable Orjat, which means you won't have to refrigerate it. For the garnish, Ivy recommends a lime wheel, mint, and a flower. It's dealer's choice on the type of flower, but Ivy opts for an orchid, and I concur. Ever since its introduction by Harry Yee in the 50s, the orchid has been a staple in the tiki garnish game. It acts as a signifier, and a little preview of the exotic concoction that awaits you in the mug. Like the Oaxacan Dead, it's best not to think of the drink in comparison to its classic counterpart, or somehow trying to improve upon perfection. It's better to let go of the comparisons, and just think of it as its own drink. It's made up of familiar ingredients, but takes them to a completely different place. With its notes of sweet and sour, fruity and smoky, earthy and nutty, it definitely belongs to the exotic class of cocktails. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my lime juice. That way it's easier to pour when it comes time to measure. Then prep your garnish. Cut a thin wheel of lime, spear it on your cocktail pick, and set it aside. 
Next, beat up some ice. Add ice cubes to a Lewis bag and roll it up. If you don't have a Lewis bag, you can use a bar towel. Just fold it up so the ice can't escape. With the Lewis bag roll, break it up like an old relationship. Then prep your mug. Whack the rim with a mint sprig to help release some oils and help give it that great aroma. Fill your mug with crushed ice and set it aside. Next, measure an ounce of Jamaican rum. Add that to the shaker. Measure an ounce of mezcal. Add that to the shaker. Measure half an ounce of orgeat. Add that to the shaker. Measure half an ounce of curacao. Add that to the shaker. Measure three quarter ounce of lime juice. Add that to the shaker. Add a little crushed ice and whip it to integrate and agitate the ingredients. We'll let the crushed ice in the mug do most of the chilling and diluting. Then pour the contents of your shaker unstrained over the ice in your mug. Next, work in your lime wheel, mint, straw, and orchid for garnish. And there she is, the Amiya. Salud. You can support this channel by clicking on the Patreon link here. Check out some more videos. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.